Hello, everybody. This is Kevin with Inspiring How You See That. We're the inspirational channel that goes beyond the scenes, interviews some of your favorite artists, entertainers, and much more. And we do inspirational stories, and we do these Tech Tuesdays. So today we're back again, as you see. We are back with Trace, and we're going to be doing a little bit of a helpful tips again in regards to your phone app. As you see, I have the phone app open here, and I have uh, some screenshots of some pictures uh, on the phone app, so that way you guys kind of know what I'm covering and what I'm going over. Um, this will just be some tips within some of the uh, little actual added features within Trace that you guys can utilize. And I'll talk about those as I go through the pictures and some of the, the, uh, the tips within uh, Trace here. So I'll get on my uh, app here. And again, make sure you do put in the comments and or questions to, you know, any of the topics that you may be, you know, having a hold up on or, you know, not know how to use. And I'll try to put a video segment in uh, regards to that. So there's a lot of different features that you can do within this app. Now, of course, on the computer, you, you have a little bit uh, more added uh, features. So if you are on your app and you click basically on the app itself on the phone. You can't see it here, but then there's a little uh, button that will pop up here in the corner and it will basically be a little, uh, looks like a little round gear. And as soon as you click on that little round gear that's over here, another display will pop up. So if you wanna enlarge or do playbacks or do game sound or do loop play, meaning it'll just constantly play a certain section that you have, um, you can uh, do that and confirm your settings. So that's one of the other settings. Now, of course, you'll see here, um, if you click, when we've covered this in a couple other video segments, if you click here, the multi-cam, which it won't show here, I'll show you on the next picture that I took a picture of, but when you click on the multi-cam, whoever's recording it, if they've done multi-cams, which I usually try to do if I can and or if it, Trace gets it uploaded right or coordinated right. Sometimes you do have some holdups with that, which I've noticed. Um, some of your videos that are on multi-cams don't get uploaded from their team. Uh, but here's what the, uh, when you have a multi-cam, as you see, I have it selected here. That's what it looks like. And then I'll have one here from a parent phone. And then this is my phone. And you can add as many phones as you want, but when you click on this, it'll go to that angle of where you've set that phone up, which is nice. So if you want to have your camera back here behind the goalkeeper, get some close up areas of that, uh, you know, gameplay, you can do that with the multi cam. Now, there's a few other added uh, features here. So if you click on these little uh, dots with the line on it, you can actually switch down here from, you know, if you're if you're a goalkeeper, it will switch to the goalkeeper. If you want to switch your player's highlights, um, you don't have to have the player highlighted. As you see, Gavin's highlighted here and or the name. You can actually take those off and reset that. So if you wanted to do that. So, uh, again, there's a lot of different uh added features that we will be going through um, here. Now, if you want to, you know, send this, you can just click that, um, which I'll show you on the next screen, um, which once you click that, you can go ahead and copy the game. You can send a game link. You can post it on Facebook, Twitter, which I like I said, I don't recommend. Um, we have other videos that uh, if you're going to edit your video, depending upon your player, I would edit the video, put it to that section first and not put a whole 45 minute gameplay out there. A lot of times, you know, coaches or whoever's reviewing um, colleges, you know, even to, uh, pros when they're reviewing that, they're going to be looking for that certain segment. They're not going to, you know, go through every little, you know, if you have 45 minute games, um, they're not going to go through the whole 90 minutes of it or whatever it may come out to be as far as time. But uh, you can do that. Um, you can send all that through. And then again, this is, you know, the multi-cam showing you the multi-cam, uh, the switches and everything like that. Uh, but you can also, what's nice is if you wanted to add your coach in there, you can do that too as well underneath the, uh, the editing section of Grace, uh, which there's a lot of... Uh, 
tips there. That's underneath the search bar. So I'll go back here so you understand. Um, if you click on the search bar, click on that, this is what comes up. So what'll come up too with when you're within a game, as you see, we're wearing the black jerseys here. This is us. I have the you know players' names deleted out. But if you just wanted to share the link to player four, player five, player nine, all the gameplays, you can share those links. That's what's nice. So if you the trace does, you know, uh, save all that all into one and you can share that link for that player. Uh, if you had a team that you had played, you'll see the other jersey uh, number or other jerseys come up such as this uh picture that i've taken here that's again from the app and we are in the red uh which blast is in the red you can see here and these are the players uh if you want to send or check that team you would just click of course i don't have that picture saved but once you click that it will switch over to that team that you had played their color so always make sure on your trace system that the color is there or if you're not the recorder like uh, i am and you're just uh, reviewing it and you end where you wanted to, to, to view it as another team. Just click on the blue. This will show your team. And of course, with Trace, all like ours, we have all the, the names listed in here, which I haven't deleted out, but you will have all the names. Now, when you go on to another team, we don't know all their names. Um, it's just gonna show their numbers and possibly sometimes it's not gonna show their numbers, but it will have all their numbers and you can just go through if you're the other team, you can just go through and watch that player and follow it through the video. So that's what's nice, too, is you can actually uh, send and copy that link uh, through Trace. So these are some of the other key added features within Trace and uh, within your app. So there's a lot that you can do with Trace. And I just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of the tips within the app and some of the things that you can do and some of the functions and I'll be uh, continuing to do more videos as you guys uh, comment on some of the things that you're looking for or you have questions on. So we'll see you on the next video.